viewers. We thank God again for the grace we have to continue our Bible study discussion. It's a new year. I remember last week we introduced the theme for this year, Covenant with the Living God. And the Lord helped us, and it was established the importance that you make a covenant, not just with any God, but with the living God. And we looked at his omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipotent nature. Today we are taking that discussion a, a, a notch higher by looking at the immortal, the creator of heaven and earth. That's study two for the year. And we are excited that our fathers and the Lord are able to join us to look at this, I'm sure, very foundational topic as we plan to work with God this year. By my left is the Reverend Chi Dozier Ezike, a priest of the Cathedral Church of Advent, Life Camp, Guarampa. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. And then by my right is Reverend Isaac Obase. He is the vicar, Holy Trinity Anglican Church, Guaco, under the Diocese of Guagulada. Welcome to the program, sir. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Our aims today in our tradition will be to teach God's almightiness in creation and his immortality. And secondly, to show us how we can share in God's immortal and creative power. That for me is exciting, how we can be partakers of this, his divine attributes. I encourage you again to invite everyone in your neighborhood, your household. Let's start off this year on a sound footing with God as we sit under the feet of Jesus. Our background text, Reverend Ezekiel, you help us with Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and then Reverend Isaac, Jeremiah 32, 17. Let's build a discussion together from those scriptures. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Jeremiah 32, 17. Reverend Isaac, sir. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. O sovereign Lord, you made the heavens and the earth by your strong hand and powerful arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Awesome. Nothing is too hard for you. Child of God, I prophesy into your life Amen. this year, this God that can do all things will solve every difficult challenge in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Introduction. Immortality is one of the attributes of the triune God. And it means the state of not being liable to or subject to death. God lives forever and can never die. The scripture affirms him to be the creator of heaven and earth, contrary to the claims of scientists and atheists. How the immortal God created heaven and earth and continues to govern and sustain them is what we shall see in this study. I'd like to read the scripture. You know, that second line that says, God lives forever and can never die. Hmm. I think it's Psalm 102. Quickly, let me read a scripture from there. Because that got me excited as I read that line. Psalm 102, verse 27. The Bible says, But you are the same, and your years will have no end. Hmm. You are the same, and your years will have no end. The kings of the earth, they will reign and fade. Sure. We've seen empires crumble. But we are talking of the immortal God, the one who is, who was, and is to come. I pray that God will help us as we discuss this immortal creator of heaven and earth together in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Reverend Ezekiel, sir. Yes, sir. What do you understand by the phrases immortal God and creator? Let's build that understanding as we begin the discussion. The immortal God yes, sir. and the creator. Just like our introduction states that immortality is one of the attributes of the triune God. It is a state, you know, of not being able or being subjected to death. Yes, sir. I would like to, you know, bring the Greek meaning of a creator or the Greek meaning of uh, immo immortal. The Greek meaning of immortal is alternators. It means 
you know, an unending existence, mm. endless, yes, sir. eternal, mm. everlasting, unfading and divine, Marat maratin, unchanging. There yes, are so sir. many words that yes, are synonymous to immortality. So, but the summary is that, look, when you talk about immortality, you talk about a God that the existence will continue forever. Mm. As we stated in our introduction, that God cannot die. Mm. He lives forever. Mm. And then coming to the second phrase, the second phrase is a creator. You know, you often check the Greek meaning of a creator. It means, you know, dominovus. Yes, sir. Dominovus. It also connects, you know, maker, a molder, a plaster, a creator. The other words you can use to you know, uh, as nom that is nominous to creator is, you know, a vector, yes, sir. a producer, yes, sir. a designer, mm. a maker, originator, a progenitor, an initiator, a father, mm. a generator, an instigator, mm. you know, or a mother, a masterminder, yes, sir. the one who, you know, designed the whole universe. Yes, sir. So when we're talking about God as a creator, we're talking about the one who designed the whole earth hmm. who created everything hmm. bible says he called things they were not as and though they were packed they somewhere were. Hmm. so he has the power to create jesus he has the power to he's the initiator he knows he is the beginning and the end of everything awesome and he created everything for himself awesome praise awesome. the lord Hallelujah. i think that the scripture in colossians that say all things were created for him mm. by him and mm. for mm. him mm. look at psalm 104 verse 9 you have set boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not <coughs> return to cover the earth. That's this God creating the ocean, setting their boundary lines. You know, when you were describing with so many adjectives, designer, this, I just say this God is too awesome. Reverend Isaac, sir, your take on this. All right, um, like um, uh, our Father in God has said, you know, um, immortalism without end yes sir. existence without end mm. and then talking about creator also to add to it you know what makes god different you know people also can create actually yes, can produce mm. we'll and look what, at that shortly yes. because we also but what makes god different here as a creator is that he created from nothing he had no raw material mm. so in hebrew we call it um, ex nihilo yes sir created out of nothing like he said he called it the things that, that be not as do though they were yeah. I can imagine the formlessness. Bible said that the earth was without That's form it. and void. You know, the formless, the spirit of the Lord brooded over the face of the dark. And the Bible said, "Let there be," and, and there was. was. Child of God, what is it that is lacking? Perhaps you cried last year, and you are beginning this year. You are saying, "God, when will this come to me?" This God that can call the things that be not as they will attend to that matter. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Reverend Isaac, Kassar, how is God described in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17? Reverend Isaac, you also help us with 1 Timothy 6, 16. And then I'll read Revelation 4, verse 11. I will still continue in describing this immortal nature of this God, awesome God. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. Yes, sir. All honor and glory to God forever and ever. He is the eternal king, the unseen one who never dies. Mm. He alone is God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He alone is, is God. First Timothy 6, 16, sir. First Timothy 6, verse 16. Who alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light. Mm. Who no man has seen or can see, to whom be honor and everlasting power. Awesome. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they exist, and we are created. By your will they exist. exist. And we are created. Sir, looking at all these reference scriptures now, how is God described in these scriptures? Okay, we have excellent description of God. Yes, sir. You know, um, in connection to the theme we are looking at. Mm. See, as 
Paul was writing to Timothy here, and he began with um, the first Timothy chapter one verse seven. He began with eternal King, hmm. eternal King, or King eternal. Okay, King eternal, and that means that his reign, mm. his sovereign, is perpetual. Yes, it sir. has no end. Yes, sir. His ceaseless reign yes. and authority. Hmm. Like we have said, we've seen uh, empires rise and crumble. We've seen kings come to throne and go down. Hmm. But for God is eternal. And that is more or less like um, exclusively reserved for him. Yes, sir. Yes, there could be other kings, but he is king eternal. eternal. The is king no of kings. kings. There is no one who can take upon himself that kind of a title. Hmm. Okay, And when you look at Revelation also, he said he created the heavens and the earth, allowing them to exist by his will. You know, human creators can create and then it can malfunction. Yes, Your sir. phone can malfunction. Uh, whatever you, the buildings you have built can, can you know, go down or something. Mm. But he, the creations of the heavens and the earth exist by his will. <laughs> you know, and that is exclusively reserved for him. You know, so I, 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 I begin to see that God, knowledge and wisdom is reserved alone for God. Yes, sir belongs to him alone hmm. discernment also belongs to him alone. we, we see that in um, in first timothy 6 verse 16. yes sir yes. knowledge and discernment belongs to god wisdom belongs to him alone awesome awesome you know i'm praying for someone to catch a picture you yes. know uh, uh, this is beyond this is beyond ordinary comprehension mm. because there's a, a kind of confidence it will g deliver to a to man you. when you understand that the this god is who is god. backing you mm. Mm. Has this you know, quality. His reign is not tenured. Mm. You know, human kings, at worst, if you are the president of a nation, mm. if you are practicing mm. democracy, you stay mm. for eight years. Yeah. But this God, no one made him king. No mm. one tenured his not reign and he's there forever. Mm. And so you need to move into this year with that confidence that your God is on the throne forever. Reverend Ezekiel, sir. Yeah, just to add to what uh, our Father in God has said, you know, when we talk about the internal God. You talk about God who is ever living, mm. as a brother pointed out, mm. and ever ready to redeem us. Yes, sir. You know, you can. It's dependable. You can depend on Him. Hmm. You know, we talk about a God that is invisible. Mm. When yeah. when you talk about invisibility of God, we talk about a God who can conquer. Yes, sir. Even though He's invisible, but He's working. Yes, sir. If you imagine somebody that is fighting. Somebody that you cannot see. Mm. <laughs> you imagine you fighting with an invisible. Mm. So even though he's invisible, he's ever present and he's working. Even as we have entered this year, yes, sir. We know that God, our God, is there for us. Awesome. The invisible God, His power mm. and presence is with us in this year, 2021. Awesome. And He's working. He's yes, at sir. work. The Bible was trying to describe God. They say, but you see that you don't see the, the, the wind, mm. but you see the effects. Mm. Yes, sir. The Sometimes wind. because of what we are passing through, like what we passed through last year, yes, sir. the COVID, mm. a lot of people think that God is not God there. He's in charge. He's in control. Yes, sir. He's ever living. He's not, that God is not there. Yes, sir. If you remember the time of Elisha, when he was calling down fire, mm. the, the, the prophet of Baz, Elijah was mocking them. and said, look, maybe call upon him. Maybe he's sleeping. sleeping. Yes, sir. Maybe he's just, he's, maybe he's traveled. Yes, sir. Our God does not travel. Mm. He's ever living. He's, Bible says only him alone is immortal. Mm. He cannot die. He's ever living. He's ever present. Dwelling in the realms of unapproachable mm. light. Dwelling in the, the realm of an approachable what? Light. light. God himself is light. Yes, sir. He's not, you are not possible to see him with his mm. eyes. And mm. Physical eyes. In him, him is no darkness mm. at all. The living God. You know, I like the way the Bible study DC is starting. Yes. Qualifying the God we are looking at. Who is this God that we need to enter into this covenant with? And he says, the living God. Mm. You know, when you say that God is at work, mm. even when it appears uh, is not, you know, there are situations you'll be going through, you'll be wondering, where is God in all this? Season. One of our hymns says, vain unbelief is sure to end. And such his work mm. in vain. Mm. God is working his purpose mm. out, out. Yes. even as the years yes. succeed mm. here. And I remember in one Bible study discussion we had, and I drew up this analogy. Some of us are used to seeing when they're building road, they will put one men at work. Yeah. 
I pray this day you will see God at work Amen. in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Reverend Ezekiel, I will still yes, stay with you. Yes. Explain the almightiness of God in Joshua chapter 10, 12 to 13. Father in God, Acts chapter 12. 21 to 24. Help us with this vision. Let's still go ahead. We cannot exhaust it. Yeah. The almightiness, the all powerfulness of this our God. These are great God. Joshua 10, 12 to 13. And then Acts chapter 12, 21 to 24. Joshua 10, 12 to. I would like us to stop at 14. Yes, sir. Joshua 10, 12 to 14. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord. In the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, mm. and he said in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand still over Gibbon, and moon in the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, till the people had revenge upon their enemies. <laughs> Is this not written in the book of Jesha? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven mm, and did gosh. not hasten to go down for about a whole day Jesus. and there has been no day like that before it or after it that the Lord needed the voice of a man he did the voice of a man for the Lord fought for Israel this is the word of the Lord thanks, thanks be, be to God, God. Yeah, Acts, thanks, Acts chapter 12 mm. 21 to 24 an appointment with Herod was granted. When the day arrived, Herod put on his royal robes, sat on his throne, and made a speech to them. Jesus. The people gave him a great ovation, shouting, It's the voice of God, not of a man. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with a sickness because he accepted the people's worship instead of giving the glory to God. So he was consumed with worms and died. Meanwhile, the word of God continued to spread, and there were many new believers. This is the word of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. From, that, from that reading, I just pray for somebody now, Jesus. that everything that is troubling your life, yes, sir. everything that is exalting himself, Above the knowledge of God, mm. the Lord will bring it to nothing. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All honor and glory belong to God. Yes. Amen. Now looking at our text in Joshua, God displays his almightiness. Yes, sir. When we talk about the almightiness of God, we are talking about a God that has complete power, mm. preeminence, mm. all-powerful, omnipotent, mm. who is able to deliver, yes, sir. who is able to save to the uttermost. Yes, we saw here, that five kings gathered together against uh, uh, Gibor. Gibor made a covenant with Israel. Mm. They decided to follow God. Mm. They, they saw the hand of God upon Israel. And they decided to covenant with them. Yes, sir. To, you know, just like some of us are making covenant with God yes, sir. at the beginning of this year. Yes, sir. When you enter into the covenant of God, the covenant people cannot be defeated. <laughs> so these five kings of the Amorites... They gather together, connive together, mm. and they say, Let us go and destroy Gibbon. And Gibbon went back to Joshua, the servant of God, and he called upon God. Yes, and sir. God told him, Go, I have delivered the people into your hands. So when he gets to the battle, the Bible said they started killing the people. As they were killing them, the people started running. The Amorites, kings, they started running. The Bible said God healed, uh, uh, raised a headstone. Upon them. I said the Eston killed thousands of people, even more than the children of Israel killed. Yes, sir. But Joshua needed to have the light uh -huh. on in order to complete his victory. Yes, sir. So he made a request to God. Mm. And the request it has never happened before. Mm. That's why I tell you, look, no matter what you are passing through, even if it has never happened anywhere. Even if your prayer request this year has never, nobody has ever attended that attended level. <laughs> God is able to do that. So God, he asked God that God should, re, look, should let, stand he said, still the He song. spoke to the sun. He said, let the sun stand still over Gibor. He said, let the moon stop over the valley of Ajalon. And the Bible said that for the first time, God heeded the voice of a man. <laughs> I was not only challenged by the deliverance that God gave to the people of Israel, but that God can answer a man. 
God, just ordinary man like me. So what am I then? What is then that am I fearing for this year? You will succeed, my brother. Amen. You will succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you know this God, this almighty God, this immortal and the creator of heaven and earth, mm. there's nothing that's confronting you this year that the Lord cannot give you victory. Amen. Amen. There's no mountain before you that God cannot bring down. Amen. I saw here a complete deliverance. It was not even the strength of the people of Israel. God threw a stone from heaven. Jesus. Everything that's troubling you, whether it is sickness, may the Lord cast a stone over it. Amen. Amen. May the Lord set you free Amen. from that bondage of sickness, of Amen. poverty, of yoke in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And also in Acts chapter 12, we saw a man that exalted himself. The Bible says that, look, God said, I will not share my glory with any man. With any man. Hmm. Isaiah 42, 8. I said, I will not share. Remember before now that this man put Peter in bondage, in yes, prison. Sir. Wanting to give him out, to kill him the next day, but God delivered Peter. Yes, sir. It was not enough. He came out openly and spoke. The Bible said he gave an oration. And the people started shouting. The voice, voice of, of God. The voice of God. Not the voice of God. And he took the glory. Oh, Jesus. Brothers, you should be careful. Anytime people start praising you, look, anytime you start sharing the glory of God, you are going down. Hmm. What I've seen in the Bible that is any time that people exalt himself, God will quickly react. Hmm. Hmm. The Bible said that God, you know, the angel of God hit him and warm, ate him up. Hmm. Hmm. Let us not share the glory of God. Yes, sir. When you start seeing the miracle of God, the blessing of God this year, it is not because you are intelligent. Mm. It's not because you are wonderful. Yes, sir. It's not because you, 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 you have strength. It's because of the mercies of God. Yeah. Yes, sir. May we return all the glory to God. Yes, sir. Amen. May we return all the praise to Him. Amen. Amen. And I pray this year that God will deal with your enemies. Amen. Amen. Those who exalt Himself against the knowledge of God. Amen. Amen. God will bring them down in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, I love verse 14 of that Joshua oh. then. That's the prophecy for someone. The Bible says, for the Lord fought for Israel. Yes. Like our Father and God has prayed, God will fight for you Amen. this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just before we go on break, yeah. your take, Reverend Isaac, on this. Yes. Um, now, I, 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 my mind is blown up. Yeah. I wish I could contain this. Indeed, indeed. You know, as our Father and God was trying to explain um, the almightiness of God, you know, I, I could see um, the, the struggle because if actually we're able to define almightiness, then there's a problem with almightiness. Yes. Hey. <laughs> it is actually almighty because it is beyond definition. Mm. So all we are trying to do is to scratch, to a, scratch little. It a little. Yeah, if we're able to give it a, a definite definition, then it's no longer almighty. Hey, you know, and that's the problem that the 80s have in philosophy. They say God cannot be almighty. God mm. cannot be all. The problem they have is with the all. But that is to also say that this year, God will be almighty mm, for us. You amen. will see the almightiness of God. There mm. are things you can't give definitions to, but you see God coming into them. Mm. And like you have said, God, it came to a day that God hid the voice of a man. Mm. Oh, I pray that this year, God will hear your voice. Amen. amen. In the name of Jesus. Even amen. as we are making prayer requests and say, this year, do this and do that, God will hear our voice. Amen. And very quickly in Acts, you know, like there are things I said, there are, are prerogatives of God. Yes, One sir. of them is glory. A man cannot share, share in God's glory. glory. And you know, sir, this year I'm convinced God is going to do greater things in us and through us. Amen. But we must be careful. Yes, sir. To always return the glory to him. Amen. You see, this man took the glory. He was not careful. You see, the word is let us be careful. Trust yes, God to be careful. But as for great things, I am sure that this year God is going to do great things for us. Amen. In us and through us. But we must be careful. Amen. Always return because the glory is the prerogative of God. God. Amen. You know, maybe you, last year was challenging. The whole lot of persons out there, like our Father and God has said, I have is bobbing up in my spirit also. God is saying, I will do a new thing. Amen. Forget Amen. just the things of old. Just forget them. God is said to bless you. And when you talked about Almighty, just before we go and break, you know, I just remembered our secondary school mathematics. I just almighty, want to bring almighty, almighty, formula. Formula. the almighty formula. <laughs> you know, when you use completing the square and it doesn't and work, and you use the other by elimination, it doesn't work. You, you know, bring in the almighty, almighty formula, formula, and you're able to solve that quadratic equation. Every complex Amen. issue of your life, Amen. this almighty God is stepping in, Amen. and solution is coming your Amen. way. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, we'll be back in a moment to continue. God bless you. 
beaming from the nation's capital, we bring to you the good news through various programming, news updates, worship and teachings. The paralysis of sin makes us to be separated from God. Contact us for your live streaming solutions and event coverage, such as synods, conferences, seminars, revivals and lots more. Engage us in showcasing your brands and services to the world through adverts and sponsorship. We also offer latest broadcast equipment for rent, all at affordable prices. For inquiries, please call 070-326-5644 or mail us via inquiries at acnntv.com. ACNN, reaching the world with the undiluted Word of God. Welcome back, child of God. God's presence has been manifest and evident in this discussion. Personally, I'm here to fully recover from the issues that this almighty God is raising in the course of this discussion, and we've been quite blessed. Remember, I've been in the studio with our fathers in God, Reverend Isaac Kobasi and Reverend Chido Ziezike. Welcome to the program once again. Thank you. Just before we look at question four, sir, I would like to invite you, Father in God, to help us pray. You know, when uh, Reverend Ezekiel took that reading to verse 14. Yes. I felt flesh and blood did not reveal it to him. Look at the last line, verse 14 of Joshua chapter 10. The Bible says, For the Lord fought for Israel. There's someone out there, I'm quickened in my spirit, that you need to pray for. Sir. That the Lord will step into that battle. And you know, men will confirm and say, No, 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 no. You know, when the experience with Pharaoh uh, uh, in Exodus, I yes. think Exodus 1918, yes. they say this one is the finger of God. It will be evident that it is the Lord that will fight for you this year. I want you to pray for that, one, that person out there, that man, that woman, as we continue in this discussion. Yes, I, I, I pray for our viewers, I pray for you, I pray for everyone listening to us yes, sir. today. Mm. The Bible says, and the Lord fought for Israel. Mm. He is called the one that fights battle and there is no dust of war. Mm. You only see the effect of the battle yes, and yes, receive Lord. the victory. Amen. Can I pray for you? I decree that this year there is a battle you are going through or there is a battle that is facing you and you don't know how to come out of it. Mm. But the Lord will grant you victory. Amen. Amen. May you see the finger of God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will not know how the battle is fought, Amen. but the battle will be fought for you. Amen. Amen. And victory shall be delivered into your hands Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Just hold your peace. The Egyptians you see or the Egyptians you saw last year, you will see them. No Amen. more. Amen. God said it. I believe it. And that settles Amen. it. Amen. How can man share in God's immortal and creative power? You will help us with Psalm chapter 24, 1 to 4, Reverend Isaac, and then Reverend Isaac, John chapter 14, 12 to 13. Because this is key. You know, when we are setting the tone for this discussion, you say it's important that we look at how we can partake of this nature of God. Because greater things we are mm. we've been uh, 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 charged to do because Jesus has gone to the Father. That's the word of God. Amen. Psalm 24, Psalm 24 1 to 4. Mm. The earth is the Lord's mm. and everything in it. Mm. The world and all its people belong to him. Mm. For he laid the earth's foundation on the sea and built it on the ocean depths. Yes, Who can climb the mountains of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Yes, sir. Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. Hmm. John chapter 14, 12 and 13. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do. Because I go to my Father. Awesome. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yes, sir. Reverend Isaac, sir. Yes. How can a man share in God's immortal and creative power? Yes, we, we have seen God's um, immortal and creative power, and we've seen what God can do by His power you know, by his creative power. Mm. And then so, if we are children of God, yes, sir. there is a way we can share in it. Mm. Now, when a man comes to Christ, 
you know that is um, the beginning point mm. you know because when you come to christ you know we, we we become like christ yes sir yes and when you become like christ you are sharing in that creative power mm. you are sharing in that and then the the immortality is the fact that of course you know that when we come to christ and we, you, we, we cannot die. Yes, we sir. transit to the next life. Mm, yes, sir. To live with him yes, sir. for all eternity. Mm -hmm. And the creative power that he has, you know, is transferred to us. Yes, sir. That means we can do the very things we can do. But when you look at the psalm, especially verse 4, verse 4, talking about uh, who shall, from verse 3, who shall, you know, who shall go up to his high hills. Mm. You know, who shall go up to his high mountain. He who has a clean heart mm. and a clean hands. Mm. Clean hearts and clean hands. You know, that means you must come to a point where your heart is regenerated. Yes, sir. And what does it mean to be regenerated? You come to a point where you are born again. again. And when it is regenerated, you are like him. Mm. You have been given birth again. Mm. He had, you know, he had created you again and new. Mm. Now, not with flesh and blood, mm. you know, but with the kind of creative grace and with the kind of immortality that he possesses. Yes, sir. You know, so we must be careful. And then, so the state of our heart matters a lot. And you know that, you see, the Pharisees and the Old Testament was you know, concerned about our physical lives. Mm. But when Jesus came, he changed the tune. And then, so when he was beginning to talk to them in Matthew, usually he would start by saying, telling them, um, what does the law say? Mm. Uh, does the law not say eye for an eye? But I tell you, mm. Jesus was reverting back to their hearts. Yes, sir. Because the heart is the most important. Mm. Excuse me, God will not do a thing in a man's life until he gets his heart. Yes, sir. Until your heart is regenerated, is captured. captured. He will not do a thing in a man mm. until the heart of a man is captured so god is interested in him the, yes, the outward life is not as important as the inward life mm. the inward the heart and you know um, uh, romans chapter 12 verses 2 say we should not be conformed to the standard of this world but be a transformed by the renewal of your mind yes, then you will be able to know Hmm. what is his good and perfect will yeah. in other words you may not be able to know you cannot share his creative power until our heart That's is regenerated really. and then i also want to make a prayer this year for somebody who is listening to us this morning that as the year begins can you trust the lord to regenerate your heart yes sir can you trust the lord you know hmm. to renew your heart hmm. because your heart is the driver of your life Whatever can penetrate your heart will penetrate your mm. life. So when God regenerates your life, when God regenerates your heart, then you can be sure that God is going to use you to do great things. Mm. He will minister to you. The Bible says there's a spirit in a man and the inspiration of the Lord give it him understanding. Mm. He can only inspire the heart he has regenerated. Yes, sir. He can only minister to the heart he has generated. So this year, there is somebody listening to us. God is going to give you initiatives, creative, creative mm. minds. You know, yes, sir. You will do things beyond the box. Mm. And people are wondering, uh, where where did you study this? No, you didn't study it from anywhere. God inspired your heart. God awesome. regenerated your heart. Praise God. <laughs> you know, David said, I have more understanding than my teacher. Mm. Why? Because your law has become my delight. Mm. You know, when our Father and God was speaking, it was just bubbling up in my spirit. What God can do with a heart that is regenerated. And there's something he dropped. He said, God cannot do something in a man's life until the heart is captured. Yes. The heart of the matter. Mm is the matter of the heart. Mm, mm. Your take, sir. Okay, as our Father in the Lord was just talking, and I was challenged because, you know, when you look at our lives as Christians, we discover that we don't share this immortality, this creative power with God. Probably because of the way we are living. Mm. When our, our life is not correct, mm. Mm. there's no way we can share this immortality. Mm. That's right. You know, Jesus said, uh, look, he said, the work the works that I do, greater. He said, "Greater work shall you do, mm. because I go to my Father." Father. And he now went further to say, "Look, if you ask anything mm. in my, my name, name, now I will bring it to another point. That's the point of prayer." Yes, sir. Mm. Prayer. He's talking about prayer. Yes, sir. Because he's going to his Father, mm. granting us access to his Father. Mm. So through the ministry of prayer, we can do undo. There's nothing that would be difficult. Mm. Of course, we saw Joshua, that Joshua asked God for something that has never happened before. And God, he did the voice of a man. Mm. But I said, God heard the voice of a man in the Old Testament. Hi, Jesus. But in this New Testament, I would say we are one with Christ. Mm. We have been united with him. Mm. So when you come this year, as we are starting this year, brothers, sisters, if you want to share in this immortality, in this power of God to create, you need to know the power of prayer. Yes, sir. 
You need to say, ask, and you shall receive. You don't mm. know how to ask. Yes, sir. Not only praying, praying with fasting. Mm. Yes, sir. Jesus told the disciples, he said, some of these things, this particular one cannot go out except with what? Fasting. With fasting. Because when, as you are beginning the year, there's need for you mm. to generate power. Yes, because sir. definitely the devil is going to confront you mm. in so many areas. So I challenge us that prayer is very important to begin the prayer with this year. Don't start this year always with Gary and Eba. Mm. Man shall not live by, by bread, bread alone. alone. You can, Jesus started his ministry with fasting and prayer. Yes, sir. He took time. When God asked Moses to come up to the mountain, he came said, look, he fasted for 40 days. Hmm. God did not just start speaking to him. The minute he get to the mountain, he has to wait. Brothers, if you want direction for this new year, you need to wait on the Lord. You need to take time out and ask God. And the only way we can share is, is through prayers. Then number two is through faith. Yes, sir. Quickly. Faith. Through faith in him. Yes, sir. The faith is the instrument where we tap the resources. We tap the power of God. Mm. Without faith, it is impossible to, to please, please God. God. And that faith comes in. Your prayer is also an expression of your faith. Mm. And then finally, I would like to read us. Please, just a minute. The second Peter chapter, chapter 1, mm. verse 3 and 4. You know, it said, verse 3 said, As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and, and godliness, godliness, through the knowledge of him who called us by his glory, glory and, and virtue, virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly and great and precious promises, that through these you may partake us of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in the world through loss. You see, you see another way, the first final point I will put before I stop, is do the knowledge of God. Mm. Quest to know God, God. intimately. He hmm. said, the knowledge of God brings you, he said, that Paul said that I may know him. In Daniel, he said, those who do know their God, God. they shall be strong. And they will do it. Look, if you know God, if you know this of mightiness, look, mm. there's no way Joshua could have asked God. It's because he knows no. God. Yes. He knew him. He had a, a relationship, hmm. intimate relationship. You know God. Hmm. So seek for the knowledge of God. It is through the knowledge of God that you bring this thing out of your life. Because we are created to be in the same image to God, in the, yes, same, to, in the same realm with God, yes, to sir. behave with Him. Because uh, we shall do greater works. We can't do it if you don't have, know God. And there's no way you know God without knowing the scriptures. Awesome. Spend time with Him, hmm. and God will bless you. Amen, Amen. In Jesus' name. The amount of the word in a man's life is also a measure of God in that man's life. That's mm -hmm. true. You know, when the, in Old Testament, talking about knowing God, you know, and Bible said Adam knew his wife. Mm -hmm. You know, he used the word mm -hmm. becoming intimate, mm -hmm. intimate in knowledge with God. When the Bible talks about a man knowing his wife, that's the kind of knowing God mm -hmm. that we want us to get to. Intimacy. When we become one mm -hmm. with this God. Intimacy with God. John chapter 17, 3, follow it. He said, this means everlasting life. Mm -hmm. They are taking in knowledge of you, mm -hmm. the only true God, and in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent forth. You want to go far this year, you want to do exploit, you must quest to know this God. When St. Paul was talking, I want to know him, he was not a baby Christian. Mm. He has written letters to different churches, mm. but he still cried, I want to know this God. I pray that this year you will yearn Amen. and hunger to know this God. Amen. And that is the only thing that will qualify you to be a candidate for exploit. Amen. Your life will become full of wonder mm. and people will ask what is happening and you will tell them. Jesus makes the difference. Conclusion. There is no sustainable argument against the affirmation in the Bible that the immortal God is the creator of heaven and earth. Indeed, he has gone further to make man in his own image and demonstrate how we can share in this awesome power through faith in Christ. I want to read Romans chapter 5 verse 2. Verse 2, Bible says, Through whom also we have access by faith into this great in which we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Mm. You know, you made mention of yes. faith. Mm. That scripture also jumped in my spirit as you mentioned that. Food for thought. God, the immortal, the immortal invisible, invisible, 
and the only wise. God, the immortal, invisible, and the only wise God. Memory verse, let's take it together. First Timothy chapter 1, one verse, verse 17. 17. Let's read it together. Now, now to, to the, the king eternal, immortal, invisible, to God who alone is wise, be honor and, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. He's a great God. He's, He's a great God. God. He's a great God. He's alone. All I know. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. All I know. That would be a confession this year. That Amen. this great God will visit us. Amen. His almightiness will be evident in our lives. Amen. We will partake of this His nature. Amen. And we'll be set for wonders this year Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Child of God, we want to thank God for thus far that God has brought us on this mount today. Deliverance has come your way, and we're excited at what God is doing. Hold on to this God. You will see that this year that the boundary lines will fall unto you Amen. in these places. Amen. This God is almighty. This God is all-powerful. We want to thank our fathers in God. It's been an awesome time having you. God has mightily used you. Amen. And we pray that this oil of God upon your life will never run dry in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Reverend Obasan, may the Lord continue to uphold you. Amen. Thank you. Reverend Ezeke, it's always a joy to have you. Thank you very much. May God continually illuminate your path this year and beyond. Amen. And always Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will see you again next week. It's always a joy looking into this perfect law of liberty. God bless you.